Today marks three years of being on YouTube, so as a thank you for all of your outstanding support, I wanted to give you a free plugin that eliminates a huge pain point I've always had in Final Cut Pro. That pain point being animation. Now there is a paid version of this plugin if you want to upgrade to get over 90 different effects and tools for Final Cut Pro, but all of the basics you need for animation in Final Cut are covered within this free plugin. Now I have this basic logo that I want to animate in my scene, but you'll notice that it is in this square aspect ratio and we need to fix that. Otherwise, when we apply these effects, whenever it gets onto the edges, it's going to cut it off. So to do that, go ahead and apply your logo onto the timeline, then right click and select new compound clip. You can call it whatever you like, then push OK. Now this clip has been conformed to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so all of our effects will work perfectly. The first of these effects I want to cover is the grow shrink effect. So we'll go ahead and apply that onto our clip. In the top right, you'll see that we have the increments. We can set the ramp to final value, the continuous rate, or the natural scale. I'll go ahead and leave it to ramp to final value. And we could set the scale up to something like 50%. So now it is going to increase 50% over the entire duration of our clip, which is a nice way to apply a little zoom. But why this is really powerful is we can also apply easing inside of Final Cut Pro. So you'll see that there is this curvature slider. I'll go ahead and drag that up. And now if I push play, you'll notice that the animation starts off really slowly, builds up momentum, and then it slows down to a complete stop. We can also change the end offset. So if I want this animation to end much faster, all I need to do is drag that end offset way up and then if we go ahead and push play, you'll see that the animation is much faster before we ever reach the end of the clip. We can also set this to a continuous rate. So if we want this scale to just keep on happening for infinity, let's go ahead and get rid of our curvature slider and our end offset. Then we could change this over to continuous rate and set the scale value to 10. So now over time, this is just gonna keep on adding 10 to our scale. The next tool that I want to show you is extremely powerful and the tool that I think people might use the most. Let's go ahead and apply motion path. And with motion path, you'll see that I have these powerful on-screen controls. So I can go ahead and click and drag this to the top left-hand corner down to the right. And now over the duration of this clip, we will have this smooth animation. So if I push play, it just moves on down to that bottom right hand corner. It is very similar to one of my favorite plugins of all time, Add Motion. And while it's definitely far from as powerful as that plugin is, it does cover a lot of the basics. So for example, it's just very easy to animate stuff from point A to point B. We can also change the direction. We could have it reverse. So now it starts in the bottom right hand corner and goes to the top left. If we need to, we could also have it even pause. So we'll lock the position and now it will be stuck to this end position here, which can be really powerful because for example, let's say we want it to animate to this bottom right hand area. We'll go ahead, we'll set this to forward and we will unlock the position. So now it will play out the animation, then it will pause right here in this particular spot. Then we could create another cut and we could go ahead and unlock that. Then we could adjust the final position. So now it will play out, it will pause and then it'll move to the top right hand corner. And you'll notice how smooth it is with all of the nice easing options. We could even jump inside of here and change the easing to accelerate, decelerate, ease in, ease out, constant, or natural. So you have a ton of different options to play around with. But one of my favorite features is the looping options. Selecting this clip, I'm going to go ahead and drag up the number of loops to three to celebrate three years on YouTube. Then we could change the end condition from repeat over to ping pong. So if I push play, you'll see we have this nice back and forth animation. Now something that's really cool is we could change the apply speed. Right now it's once per loop. Let's change it to over entire duration. Now I'm going to drag the number of loops up to something like 10. And if I do this, you'll notice that it starts off slowly, builds up a bunch of momentum, bounces back and forth like it's bouncing off of the walls, and then goes back to its original position. The next tool is the move to and from feature. Now this tool is similar to motion path, but it has a few extra benefits over motion path. So we'll go ahead and apply this on and you'll see that it just has this singular on-screen control. 
What I can do is click and drag this on-screen control, say to the top right hand corner, then move back to the beginning of the animation. And if I push play, my clip will move up to that top right hand corner, which is really nice. We can also change the Z positioning. So if we want it to scale forward in Z space, now we have this nice little zoom on it. Then at the end, it will go back to its original position. I'll just keep it playing. You can also go in and change the easing from ease in and out over to a custom mix. So now we could even go in, we could add a keyframe for this position, move forward in our timeline, and then drag that up. If you wanted it to have easing, we could push Control V, which will give us our video settings. And on the right hand side, you'll see this icon. Go ahead and click that and it will give you this line. We can right click on that line and then select ease. So now it has a nice S curve easing to it. So if I push play, it has easing to that middle point. Then we could continue the animation with the custom mix all the way up and we could even add easing onto that. So now it moves to that middle point, stops and then moves to the end point. The next tool is Spin. This one is really powerful if you need to apply a rotation animation onto anything in Final Cut. Right now it's set to continuous rate. We could just set this to something like 30 degrees and if I push play, it's going to continually rotate 30 degrees. If there is a specific point that you want it to rotate it to, maybe you have a looping animation of some sort, we could set it to ramp to final value. Now I'll have it spin to 365 degrees, so it'll do a full rotation. And if I push play, we can see that over the entire duration of this, it does a full rotation. We could also change the axis. So right now it's set to Z. Let's set this to custom and then drag up the latitude and longitude options. And if I push play, we now have this nice little flipping animation on our logo. The next tool is the oscillate tool. And this is really powerful for creating hover animations in Final Cut. So if I push play, you can see that my logo is just bouncing up and down just like so. We could drag up the amplitude on this and the speed if we wanted to. So now it's much faster and a much larger motion. We could also change it to half range. So now it's a bouncing animation, which is really nice. We could also have it oscillate on the X value. So I'll just drag up the amplitude on that. So now we're going on the X and the Y. So it looks like it's kind of bouncing back and forth. We could change that to be a half range if we wanted to. So it's bouncing off of a wall essentially. We can even have it bounce in Z space. So it's almost bouncing in 3D. So if I drag that up, you'll see how it's going back and forth in 3D space. Next is the overshoot animation. This one is really powerful for adding pop in animations. So by default, it's set to a negative 100 on the scale start. And if I push play, you'll see how it has this nice little pop in. We could adjust the speed on this. We can make it way faster, drag that down. And if I push play, now it's a much faster animation. But we can also apply this onto the position. So I'll change it over to position X and we'll set the position start point off to the left hand side. So if I push play, now it starts off on that left and then it kind of bounces into place. We could also change the cycles. So I'll set that up to five and maybe drag down the ramp duration and bring up the acceleration. So if I push play, we now have this nice fast animation of the logo popping into place. And finally with this free plugin pack, it includes motion blur. So if I were to go ahead and apply the oscillate filter and maybe I'll drag the amplitude up quite a bit so we can really see this, then I will go ahead and apply the motion blur light onto that. You can see how it has blurred the image and it looks really natural. So if you want to get this free powerful animation plugin for Final Cut Pro, just follow the links down below. Over there, you will see that there is a free option and a paid option. The paid option comes with over 90 more tools and effects for Final Cut Pro that have been published from Apple Motion. And you do not need Apple Motion for you to use those effects. If this video was helpful to you, you may want to check out this video where I show you 11 powerful free plugins for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for three years on YouTube and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.